because I have been asked a lot, you know, about this um, forthcoming elections in my country, a lot of people have asked me to give my thought on it. <laughs> Who are you voting for? As a matter of fact, I do not have any um, preference among all of them because they are not. The Nigerian politics is not the problem of Nigeria. I believe that Nigerians have a role to play to solve some of our problems. Not all, some. Do you understand? I, we're going to get into that. But then if you are new here, welcome. My name is Lilian. Please do not subscribe because of this video because these are not my usual types of video. Do not subscribe if this is why you want to subscribe. Just hear me out. Like the video. Comment down below. If you already subscribe based on my other content, thank you. But if it's based on this one, um, I don't think... <laughs> you should okay so on the 25th of february 2023 uh nigerians are going to decide who their next president will be for the for the next eight years yes i know it's four years but forget it i know what i'm saying there have never been any leader that comes into power without wanting extra four years to destroy more so all of them are going to make it to eight years anyone that makes it so let me quickly introduce you guys to the candidates we have we have four candidates but the most popular among the four are um the three three candidates one of them by name is alaji atiku abubaka from adamawa state of nigeria he is a northern and then on the other side we have mr peter gringori obi he is from onicha in Anambra state of Nigeria. He is an Igbo man. And then on the other side of the West, we have, <sighs> so we have Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. So you can see the Yorubas, the Igbos and the Aousa for the very first time in my life, I have never seen an elections like this one. In a way, the outgoing president is not coming back into power he's not contesting he's no longer interested he have done his f as did i say four years he have served his eight years already and he is going so this is very unique very unusual this is the first time i am seeing an Igbo man that is coming to contest for presidency as a nigerian and he has this kind of acceptance i have never seen anything like this before so just like i've said before i do not have any favorite among them but maybe later in the video i'm going to tell you guys who i would have voted for if i was home to vote and so this is the first time an Igbo man is coming to contest for presidency and people are accepting him like this is so popular a lot of my subscribers from around the world happens to know Peter B. you know they like him a lot already i think it's due to the fact that you see beautiful pictures of him on social media and he has a lot of people that are on social media campaigning you know and another thing is the ebos are everywhere uh everywhere and they like to support their own which is good but the ebos support their own you know sometimes they do that vocally they do that you know unlike the yorubas so this is where it gets dangerous so you may think okay p2b is more popular yes the reason p2b is this popular on social media is because the obedience will attack anyone who comes out against them who gives their opinion um that is not once once they discovered you're not voting for you're not supporting p2b they attacks you people will attack you with words people attack you with you know they will come for your mental health so a lot of people are aware of this they don't talk about their choice their candidates not because they don't want to talk about it but they are afraid to talk because the obedience are very 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 present on social media and lots of them are bully i'm telling you the truth so you know me you can bully me down there at the comment section i don't care okay later i'm going to tell you my my candidate so this is why it seems like he have he have the upper hand but in reality i am so worried because we have bola ahmed tinumbu who is a yoruba man and bola ahmed tinumbu has a lot of unclean record there have been series of allegations against him from mother of you know top lagos politicians to him being a former drug baron and then his identity his origin like a lot of people are 
it's, a lot of people are on the opinion that he's not a Lagosian. He lied about it and he has other issues like age, fraud. He has other issues. He has a series of, you know, unclear record that he came from Ogbomosho in, in Oyo State. It's not a bad thing. But then owning it up is, I don't know why Baba is not owning it up to say, okay, yes, true. I come from a poor family somewhere in Ogbomosho, and then I came to Lagos, they adopt me, trained me, sent me to school, I became somebody. It's a big testimony, a big inspiration to a lot of people. But this man, I don't even know, this man has a lot of uncleaned record. So yet, some Nigerians are going to vote for him. So if you wake up on the 27th and he's announced the president don't be surprised that is the kind of country that we come from and the reason he has um a lot of chances he may win the election he have been very intentional about this position he has been into it way back he has been investing in individuals do you understand he sees you maybe upcoming actor or actress he sees potential he sees that you may be useful for him in future. You invest in you. So he has been doing that a lot. You see people like the likes of JJ Okocha, um, the, that's the former Super Eagle uh, player. You see a lot of Nigerian celebrities. He has this, he has invested this one on one investment where maybe you are sick and no one comes through. He hears about it, he comes for you, you know? So he has been doing his campaign long, long time ago. So you see how dangerous it is. So a lot of people that he has done good for in the past, they don't even care about his reputation. They don't care about his dented image. They don't care about his criminal records. They don't care about anything. They just want to pay him back, you know, the good that he has done for them. So it gets even more dangerous. Another thing is the Yorubas. You see Yoruba people. Hmm? Me, I grew up in a Yoruba home. I wouldn't say home because I grew up in different Yoruba homes. I live with different Yoruba families because um maybe we should talk about that in another video me coming from the minority tribe in nigeria with no nothing not no opportunities nothing no nothing so and then i i worked as a house help in lagos with some families so i've lived with yoruba people for a very long time there is no how a yoruba person is going to abandon bola ahmed Tinumbu to come and vote for an Igbo man on that day especially when an Aosa man is also contesting. So this election is very, very, very unique. We have never had opportunity like this before. So, and then there are a lot of allegations from the camp of Bola Ahmed that then the president, well, the presidency is aiding Peter B to win. I don't understand. So how is he aiding the OB to win? They're accusing him of, um, you know, making shortage of uh, being responsible for scarcity of Naira notes so that they will not buy vote. So were you intending to buy votes? They can't even defend that. But they may win, like I told you. So it's between Bola Ahmed and Mr. P2B. As for Atiku, I can't really say much. Atiku is from the north where they have massive voters. But the north right now is divided into two because some of the northern elders are behind Tinumbu and um, in the north I don't know Peter B will get votes from the Igbos and the southerners in the north but when it comes to the south south of Nigeria Obi is taking all we have about six states in the southern south south of Nigeria Obi is taking all and we have another about five or six also in the southeast and Obi is definitely clearing it's going, to, it's going to get some, if they allow the elections to hold, it's going to get at least 80% from the Igbos, and it's going to get like 95% from us, South, South. That is how much we love the Igbos. Yet, yet, <laughs> like I told you earlier in the video, I belong to nobody, but I belong to, I belong to everybody, but I belong to nobody. So, Obi, I wish Obi wins, but then if you're voting, please vote I wouldn't say vote wisely. It's as if sometimes we don't have sense. We have suffered too much. Just vote, okay? If you're voting, vote. But if I were you and I'm home, I would like to give Peter B a chance, okay? I would like to give him a chance. I would like to see what he can bring to the table. Another problem OB may be having is that you see elections in Nigeria. <sighs> 
a lot of people on that day they are going to prefer the one that has money especially now the presidency is trying to get everybody to do the right thing but it's even getting more complicated for some because on that day you think bola ahmed doesn't have some money stored somewhere for his campaign he already has because the bankers the bank the top bank managers the top bank manager he they works with him you think someone like that that have been investing on on people in the past will not have like two or four bank managers that are aware of the shortage of naira notes even before nigerians are aware they may have packed enough and you know hide it somewhere and funny enough they have succeeded so the new naira notes and the old naira notes everything are in circulation till after the election so tinubu has another chance to win and here is p2b with only nothing but dreams of making nigeria great again restoring our glory so but then i don't know i don't know so my own opinion is whoever wins should go on ahead and win but my own is i'm so worried because this scarcity of naira note is affecting everybody i had a traumatic travel experience the other time i went to nigeria i was on the road for a whole three days because I couldn't get money. I had some money in my account, I couldn't get it. I had little money in my children's account, I couldn't get it. I tried to get it no way. And sadly, even up until now, my income from YouTube, I have not gotten my alert from my bank. You see, the destruction we did last few weeks in Nigeria, out of anger, trying to want the, the money, you know, want banks to respond to us, we destroyed, it's affecting us. When destruction wasn't going on, monies were disappearing in the banks and nothing is happening. So what about now? Do, how much more now? I'm yet to get my alerts up, up, up until date. Already Google have sent me a message that they have sent my payment. Um, up till now, my, my bank have not said anything about that. So you can see we are all affected one way one way or the other so if you are a nigerian and you don't live in nigeria and you think it's none of your business it is okay so the social media noise you are making is good keep it up do it the right way don't um attack other people for their choices for me i try to make the women in my village understand that we should give p2b a chance not because he's an evil man not because he's um whatever but because he had never be given a chance before to do something like this and of course it's only fair that we have someone from that side, part of nigeria also come into power it's only fair we have an Igbo man also coming to power so i'm done with this video i will see you in my next one ciao